What's going on everybody? This is episode 5 of the R1 series build. So today we're going to be installing some new levers. Right now I have the Amazon Specials. It's the MZS, uh, is, I guess is the company name. I actually like these leather levers. I have them on my R6 and my Grom as well. But um, I definitely think the R1 deserves better. So uh, we just bought these in the meantime while we we're waiting on the ASVs to come in. So... Um, let's get started with the install. So for the R1, we got the ASV C5 levers in. These are the shorty versions. Um, they are CNC machined, aluminum, They're really great levers, five year guarantee, and they look amazing. Um, so while we take a look at one of these, um, ASV is starting to come out with more of a budget line lever series. Um, I believe they have the F3, the F4, and I think now they also have the F5. Um, I think the only difference is that they're not machined, CNC machined, but they are um, like a cast aluminum, so maybe not as strong but they are, you know, t targeted to a more um, budget, you know, option that you can use. So these do bend backwards, just like all ASVs. You have your red adjustment wheel right here. And I mean, they they look amazing. They're gonna look really good on this bike. So let's check out the brake lever. Same, same thing, these break away. Um, we do have a radial master cylinder, so um, that's what this little cutout right here is. Um, and they just feel like such good quality. Here's your adjustment lever. So you have a lot of adjustment with these guys. And they're super strong. So let's throw these on the bike. So I already did this, but first things first, whenever you're switching out your levers, on the clutch side especially, you want to um, lose... Uh, Loosen up your clutch as much as possible with this wheel right here. And also make sure this groove lines up so that the cable can slide out. There's too much tension on the cable right now, so I can't pull it out. Let me try it. Nope. So what we're gonna do is unscrew the lever from the bottom here, pull it out, then pull out the end of the clutch cable. Take the new lever, slide it in, and then run it through the grooves and tighten it back up. Pretty easy. So something with the ASVs that I just noticed in the instruction manual, um, I guess this is called a neutral kill switch. Um, and it wants us to use these two long bolts to bolt them up right here and also use some Loctite. So I'm not sure exactly what it does since I haven't seen this on other levers. Um, if you have an idea, um, feel free to post it in the comments. I'd love to know what this thing actually does. <laughs> All right.
now that these are installed, um, something good to note that this little gap right here, you always want to make sure that when you slightly pull on your level, you feel resistance that you could fit like a credit card right here. And that's how you know that your clutch line is tightened enough to where you're going to get a good consistent pull out of that clutch. So let's move on to the brake. Alright guys, we just got done installing the ASV levers. Pretty quick job, pretty quick video, but I think they're looking pretty good. There's your brake side right there. Here's your clutch side. Here's a top down view. So pretty stealth, I like the color and they look good. So if you guys are interested in getting these levers for your bike, I'm gonna leave a link in the description below. They are affiliate links, so I do get a small percentage of the sale, but everything's gonna go back into the channel and back into the bike, so I can keep creating videos for you guys. So, if you guys liked the video, please drop a like. If you have any questions, drop a comment, and subscribe to the next episode. All right, guys.